Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Elevated Trailers YouTube channel. Today we've got a really cool build we want to show you. This is a seven and a half by 20 Moab trailer by Look. We've decked out the inside with a bunch of really cool extra features, so stay tuned and I will walk you through the whole thing. All right guys, here we are inside the trailer. I'm gonna go over a few of the basic dimensions in here and then we'll get everything folded down and show you what it looks like as a living space. But here in the trailer, you've got 87 inches wall to wall. You've got an 81 inch width between these fender wells. There can be some slight variation in that. This one's 81 exactly. You're 85 inches under the bed, so you could have a really tall rig with a spare tire, you're still gonna fit. And then up here toward the front, some other key measurements to be aware of, where we've added the sofa here. You're 78 inches from the bracket over to the wall. But again, that's a measurement up here off the floor. So your tires are always gonna be the widest thing on your side by side. So as long as you're under that 80 kind of inch mark, you're gonna fit no problem in this trailer. Let me get everything folded down and we'll see what this looks like and go over the really cool stuff we added here at Life Elevated. All right, so we pulled everything down, took about one minute. Beds drop to its lower position. This bed can stop anywhere though. So you can lift it and stop it here and then put a mattress underneath it as well and sleep four people kind of in the back here. And then you can sleep a fifth on this bed, which rolls over into a, into a sofa couch. Um, come step in front of the bed and we'll show you all the options we have in here. So the things that came standard are the bed that we just showed you. This sink cabinet is a standard look option. The toilet is a standard look option. And then there's a couple water jugs here that come from the manufacturer as well. Everything else you're seeing, we added here at Life Elevated Trailers, which is all this gear wall on the walls with hooks and baskets. We added this 48 inch tread bright cabinet here. Your rollover sofa was done by us. Air conditioner installed by us with a 30 amp panel here on the wall. And then we added some extra outlets for this customer so he can charge his stuff when he's plugged into his generator. Um, Look does do this, which is really nice. Right here on the wall, you've got a 12 volt charging center. So you have USBs and a cigarette lighter by your bed to charge all your stuff up off the standard battery that comes in the trailer. We upgraded the battery here added 300 watts of solar on the roof with an MPPT solar charger. Now, I know that doesn't mean anything to you. The reason I mentioned is because there's a lot that goes into solar and if you're not an expert on it, you're not gonna maximize your efficiency. We do it a lot, wire size, connectors, charge controllers, all of that matters. So you get an efficient system that charges your battery correctly. Um, and it's important to have someone who knows what they're doing do that so that you don't spend a bunch of money on solar components that don't talk to each other. And then in the same vein with the solar, another thing that's really important is to have a battery that's gonna communicate and work well with the solar. So on your charge controller, you have to set it up to tell it what kind of battery you have in here. That We happened to upgrade this to a 100 amp hour lithium ion battery. And then we added this 3000 watt power inverter here so that the customer can run his microwave, his coffee pot, and all those things without having to fire up the generator. And what this does is it pulls 12 volt power out of the battery, changes it to 110 volt power, and it has 3,000 watts built in, which is a ton. This toilet comes standard um, from Look, and it's on a plate that clips in and out, so if you need this space, you can move it. Because like I said, you have 19 feet six inches to this corner in the 20-footer, um, but if you need to maximize this spot, you can pull this out and store it somewhere else. We've got more up here on the front, and then right below me in this cabinet, we added a diesel heater, about 30,000 BTUs of heat to this trailer, and then back by the bed, we installed a remote control to turn that diesel heater on and off so that when you're in the trailer at night, if the heater gets too hot or you need to turn it up because you're cold, you don't have to get all the way out of bed, come up to the thermostat. You can just hit the button right there next to your bed and be set. So why is this trailer awesome? What are you going to use it for? Imagine you're getting way out into the back country to go hunting. You saw the ground clearance. You saw the beefy tires that aren't going to get cut by rocks and things in the back country. You can haul your side by side. You can put a couple dirt bikes in here along with that. All your coolers, one trailer, really robust, takes the abuse, gets you into the back country, and it's 110 degrees, pop on the AC, you're comfy. It's negative 20 at night and everyone's freezing. You're in here with a bunch of heat, staying warm, out of the elements. So it keeps you warm, it keeps you dry, it hauls all your stuff. It's built to just take a beating with super heavy framing. It'll get you into the remote areas and out of the remote areas. And while you're there, keep you totally comfy and totally safe, even in the harshest climate conditions. Um, one more thing I forgot to mention is he, this has five gallons of onboard water, and then we can get you as many of these five gallon jugs as you want. So you can take a lot more water with you to the mountain 
and, and have as much as you need on hand. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that subscribe button, give us a call and we'll set up one of these trailers exactly how you need it to maximize the utility and the efficiency while not spending insane amounts of money. So thanks for watching. See ya.